The next topic is the bit ask spread. As you know, the the bit price and ask price exist because the foreign may, uh, foreign exchange market is dealer's market. So there's a dealer, and dealers are between buy seller actually and buyer, right? And seller sell dealer and dealer sell buyer and dealer receive pay bid price and buyer pay ask price. So ask price will be higher than bid price usually, right? Which means that you have spread. This spread is the compensation for dealer. Dealer make this compensation. So it's like used car, used car, same thing. Used car, dealer is buy used car from the previous owner, paying bid price, which is low price, and then sell this car to new owner for ask price, and dealer get the for price difference. And that price difference is called the bid ask, ask spread. So, the dealers might offer like this, this is case. So if the bid price is, say, 1.125 euro. So one euro equals to 1.125. Okay. And that's a direct quote, right? And ask price one euro equals to 1.1255. So you find the percent spread. So spread is this difference right which is 0.0005 right and divide by ask price and times 100 and that will be 0.444 percent that's the percent spread so that's easy to calculate right that's the percent spread So the quotation of the most currencies are carried out four decimal places, especially um, the currencies for most currencies. Some currencies, however, such as the South Korean one, maybe uh, it's a good example, cannot get the four digit, four decimal places because uh, the number is big actually. So in that case, you have less decimal places. Interbank market, which is huge market, standard size of trade is, $10 million. It's actually just called $10 in Trader's Jar one. So they could just call it $10, but it's really not really $10. It's actually 10 million. And the spot quotation keep changing, only four seconds. So, Now uh, you can you can see the indirect X price can be calculated by the reciprocal of the direct bid, direct bid price, which means that they basically are the reciprocal of both actually each. So one point one to five per euro equals to one over this ask price. And the reason is, so suppose, suppose dealer pay this price, right? Dealer pay this price to buy Euro from the customer. So dealer receive 1,000 Euro and pay $1,125. 
which is bid price for euro, right? And then this dealer now find new customer and actually sell it for $1,125. So this is ask price, right? And then basically receive 1,000 euro. So they need to be the rep reciprocal because this, the, the ask price to customer is basically the one that, the same as basically the one that customer pays to dealer, right? Customer pays to dealer. So this price will be the reciprocal of the ask price, ask price. So if we only have ask price, because for this case of for ask price, I mean we it's all given, but you don't have this one and you have bid price for the direct and the indirect ask price, right? What happens is you can calculate indirect ask price using direct bid price. So indirect ask price for dollar basically can be calculated by, right? Just the direct bid price reciprocals. We'll have another example. So the speculator in New York wants to take the $10,000 position in the pound, he faces this bid and ask price. So the bid price for pounds, the dollar is the one pound equals to $1.25. And the ask price 0 0.5 if this is spread. So you can, you can add ask price is actually like this. So 1.2505, that's the ask price. Now for dollar per pounds, the bid price is 0 0.7997 pounds for $1. And this is spread, and this is 0 0.0003, it's a percentage actually. And not really percentage, actually the, the four decimals, right? So this means that 0 0.0003, so as price is 0 0.8 pounds. Which means that if the investor has $10,000 position and using the indirect bid price, which is 0 0.779 pounds, then you have 7,997 pounds. And to get the same, same result, when you find this number, you can also have same thing, one over this ask price actually, 1.2505, which is direct ask price, right? So investor buy this British pound basically at the direct ask price, which is 7,997, which is one over 1.2505. So, a businessman has just completed transaction in Italy and England. He has holding 250,000 euro and 500,000 pounds and need to convert to US dollars. His currency dealer provides this quotation. He has two quotations. And one quotation is British pound per dollar. So one dollar equals to 0 0.7997. That's the bid. And ask is 
the spread is 0 0.0033, right? So 0 0.7997 plus 0 0.003, which is 0 0.8. Now you have one euro, so this is the euro per dollar. So one euro equals two, bid price 1.1250, and the ask price is 1.1250 plus 0 0.0055, which is 1.1305. And what does his proceed from conversion? So now he sell 250,000 pounds, right? To dealer's bid price, right? So you have 250,000 euro and the bid price is, this is pounds, right? This is dollar. So 1.125. So you receive $281,250. Okay. Now for pounds, what he can do is he can buy $500,000 worth of US dollars, right? And when he buy these dollars, then you should have pay as price, right? So dealer's ask price is 0 0.8. And as you know, same amount of dollars, so direct the bid price direct equals to indirect one over actually indirect ask right so 500,000 pounds times one over this ask price 0 0.8 which is 625,000 so total 906,250 dollars is the his position so based on the code you have what you can do is you, you basically have to find the the what dealer speed price right that's basically what you should have but this case this only see so dealer speed price is the price that they actually uh, the dealer will pay right the direct, so direct bid means you basically find if you have euro, so suppose you have euro, how much dollar you have, that's basically the bid price. But in this case, you have, so without this information and you have euro, still want to get the dollars and you only have indirect ask price, it means that you actually have to buy the same amount of dollars that sells for this ask price, page. Mm, the dealer sells this as price, which means that you have to pay one over this indirect ask price to get this bid price. So just remember, indirect ask price equals to one over direct bid, same thing, Direct bid price equals to one over indirect ask. That's what you should know. So for this case, again, what you can do is, this is fine, this is easy. But this case, you don't have actually direct bid price then you need to convert you the so direct bid equals to one over indirect ask right so you use this and you find your bid price get the dollars and total that's the position you have we have another example so the Canadian had just completed transaction in america and england so in america he has it's $120,000 and in Britain, 
thousand pounds once you convert both to you row now what you need to do is well in this case you have british pound per dollar right and you have us dollar per euro so you don't have actually the exchange rate for british pound for euro so what you can do is because we don't have any arbitrary opportunity we what we should do is the triangular uh, the exchange rate should be consistent she means that you can convert one into other and then convert again then you need to have the same you should have same result she means that first what you can do is you can convert this five hundred thousand dollars into us dollar first because we have this right and when you convert this we only have actually indirect ask price, right? So what you have to do is find a thousand dollars and then one mine, one divide by the ask price, then you have bid price. Then you have $625,000. And then you have another 125,000 from US so total 750,000. Now you know that one euro equals to 1.125 dollars. She means this is easy. Now you have 750,000 dollar. Then euro is simply multiplied by this direct bid price, 1.125, which will lead to 843,750 euro. So that's how to get the proceeds of this Italian map.